Oh, this tea is actually quite hot. Oh my god, that's actually so hot. Hi guys, so I just have a very quick message or just something that I wanted to talk about um, and that's self-doubt as you could already tell from the title of this video. So basically, I've been struggling with self-doubt for a long time. It's just something that I would say I've always struggled with self-doubt. I mean, everybody experiences self-doubt at some point or another, like everybody at one point or another will definitely doubt something about themselves, whether it's their ability to, you know, do a good job run a business, be a good partner, be a good sister, friend, um, your ability to be a good employee, whatever it is, like everybody definitely doubts themselves, right, at one point or another. Honestly, cannot think of a time where I was just a hundred percent confident in myself, where I just like trusted that, yes, I can do this, I can do that, um, I have what it takes. Anytime I'm faced with a new um, challenge or a new role or a new job or something like that like i always doubt my ability to do a good job right now in particular with this channel with my blog with everything uncensored frida related i have been battling self-doubt massively this year and that is why i haven't been as consistent as i should have been um i just have been struggling with believing that I have what it takes to do a good job as a YouTuber or as a blogger or as just somebody that God can use and so as somebody that God should use in fact because it's one thing for me to doubt the things that I do, the things that, you know, the job that I do like anything I write for my blog for example or any video that I make for this channel um, but it's another thing for me to doubt whether I am good enough myself so I'm not just doubting my work now I'm also doubting myself like why would God want to use me am I somebody worth being used um, is he aware of my flaws is he seeing the mistakes that I've made in the past is he seeing everything that I am like is he seeing the whole of me why would he want to use somebody like me I'm sure they're way better people that he could use these are just the kind of thoughts that would run through my head and I know these thoughts are 100% lies of the enemy. I know like these are not thoughts that God would you know They're not of God basically so they should not be in my head But I'm a human being at, at the end of the day and whilst it's easy for me to advise someone else Like if someone else comes to me and tells me oh, I don't think I'm good enough I don't think I can do this. I'll be like girl, please like <laughs> let's not even go there um, so it's very easy for me to advise somebody else but when it comes to myself like for some reason i just cannot take my own advice this is basically what has been going on and even when i was still in uni in my final year i graduated this year in july um i remember my last semester like the whole time i was just always anxious my friends can attest to this i was anxious all through my final semester at uni because i just didn't think i had what it um takes to graduates with a decent grade and things like that but I eventually did it thank god and even after uni I thought okay now that's done so I have nothing else that would cause me that kind of anxiety or make me um, feel like I don't have what it takes but then came the next challenge of navigating life after uni and <laughs> it's hard <laughs> it's really really tough it became clear after uni that there was literally no excuse left to not do the things that I wanted to do or the things that I felt led to do um, because before I could say oh no right now my priority is graduating and making sure you know I get a decent grade and things like that but when I finished uni it was like okay girl you have all the time in the world so the things that God has been asking you to do that you've been putting, putting off to the side because of uni that's over now so what's the next what's the next excuse well the next excuse became I don't think I have what it takes and that is what held me down and that's what crippled me and just incapacitated me and just made me feel like I would never be able to accomplish anything because I just cannot um, defeat this self-doubt I just cannot get rid of this fear or shake it off of like oh my god what will people think so one day I was thinking and the thought crossed my mind that there's so many great people out there in the world right now, right? There's so many people doing amazing things. People are really out here doing the damn thing. They're really out here kicking ass and, you know, doing what they need to do. Can 
I confidently say those people never doubted themselves. Can I confidently say all the great people out there in the world never doubted themselves, they never had any self-doubt, they always believed in themselves from the beginning? I can't because I honestly believe everybody at some point would doubt themselves. Everybody at some point definitely feels like they don't have what it takes or everybody at some point will probably think oh this dream that I have is just so big it seems unrealistic it seems crazy can I actually accomplish this this seems so out of reach can I actually do this thing that I'm dreaming of I'm pretty sure everybody feels like that at some point yet we still have so many great people out there so many people doing doing what they need to do so yeah I was just thinking about this and then I came to the conclusion that or not a conclusion it was more more of a question like is it possible to actually have confidence and self-doubt can confidence and self-doubt coexist can they work hand in hand so is it possible to still get things done even when you doubt yourself and the only answer that I could think of was yes it has to be possible and I don't know if maybe somewhere in my head I've formed my own definition of confidence because um, logic tells me that confidence is the opposite of self-doubt, right? Like if you don't trust yourself, then surely it means you're not confident. So how can confidence and self-doubt coexist? But in my head, it's like it takes a lot to do something even when you doubt yourself, right? It takes a lot to be able to push past that fear and push past that doubt that you're feeling and still, you know, go ahead and do what needs to be done surely that's confidence i don't know if i'm like making up my own form of definition of confidence but i feel like that's some kind of confidence to be able to say well i don't trust myself i don't think i have what it takes but i'm still going to do this thing anyway the next question that my brain came up with is how important is it to actually get rid of self-doubt so for a long time like i said i felt crippled by self-doubt i felt incapacitated and like i can't do anything because i doubt myself or i don't i don't believe in myself so i'm just going to stay where i am right and for a long time i felt until i got rid of that doubt i would just never do anything but again thinking back to the fact that there's so many people out there that are doing amazing things and probably doubted themselves at some point it just made me question how important it is to actually get rid of self-doubt like is it is it that's relevant like so what if you doubt yourself and so the next question became so how do you then not allow self-doubt to stop you now <laughs> definitely i'm still figuring this out i actually listen if anybody knows the answer to this let me know self-doubt makes you forget these three things who you are whose you are and what has been placed inside of you right and that's what stops you so how do you combat that you remember I was talking to my sister again um yeah was it yesterday I don't remember what day I think two days ago or something I was talking to her and she was actually asking me why I haven't been blogging or why I haven't been um posting videos and stuff like that and um I just came clean to her and I told her that honestly it's because I've just been doubting myself it's because um I feel like I don't have what it takes and blah 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 and then she said a lot right she said she said a lot because that girl really be talking but <laughs> she said a whole lot but the first thing that she said to me is after I told her like how all these thoughts were going on in my head the first thing she said to me is so are you just going to allow these thoughts to stay in your head rent free and then she asked me a simple question have you forgotten who you are don't you know who you are I was like who am I please tell me she said have you forgotten who you are and then I just started laughing because I really do be forgetting let me see sometimes guys I re like some things that I do later when I think about it, I'm like it's like you don't know your Adonai's baby have you forgotten who your father is have you forgotten that Adonai is literally your, your father he's your bestie I, I literally sometimes I move like I don't know who my father is I don't know that he's always backing me I don't know that anything that I do he's with me every step of the way anytime I forget something it's almost like I'm supposed to read the Bible every single day right I don't know if this is true I don't know how true this is um, but it's almost like we're supposed to read the Bible every single day because every single day I struggle with this self-doubt it's it's almost as if if I spend more time consuming his word if I spend more time filling my head with the words that he has spoken over me first of all there'll be less room for these other thoughts to fill my head but secondly, how can self-doubt stop me? Like in comparison to the power of God, in comparison to the power that 
my Adonai carries. What is self-doubt? Do you understand? So that's the first thing that um, came to my head about how do you not allow self-doubt to stop you? You just have to remember. You have to remember who you are. You have to remember whose you are. You have to remember what has been placed inside of you in terms of your gifts, in terms of your abilities, the things that you can actually do. This is not, oh, I just want to do this. This is, I have been empowered to do this. So yeah, following all these like these questions and this, this train of questioning, it took me back to my first question about how relevant is it to actually believe in yourself going off of what I just explained like I technically don't even have to believe in myself now please just stick with me because I know this goes against what is being preached and promoted in our society today um, so many motivational speakers will tell you to believe in yourself and tell you to have faith in yourself and to believe that you have what it takes and I'm not saying that's a bad thing that's definitely a good thing um, if you can believe in yourself that's amazing right but I'm just at a point where I'm questioning how important that is. Like, do I actually have to believe in myself? Um, am I the one that I need to believe in or do I need to believe in God? I don't have to have faith in myself. In fact, I shouldn't have faith in myself. I should have faith in God, right? It's not my ability. It's not my power. It's him that I should trust, right? Because you have to remember, again, the things that we're doing is not our will it's his will it's his plans and that's why self-doubt again can now be used as a tool to actually guide you and see if you're actually aligned to god's path because anything that i want to do now in the future and i find myself doubts i find yeah i find myself doubting myself the simple question that i would have to ask myself is this thing that i want to do that i'm doubting myself um over is it something that i just want to do on my own or is it something that i feel called to do or um I, I'm led to do is this something that God has actually revealed to me or something that the Holy Spirit has nudged me and said yeah go do this if it's something that I just decided to do on my own that's when all the motivational content and you know all the aspire to perspire talk would help with right that's when you can then go and watch all the videos that you can find on how to how to have faith in yourself how to trust yourself and how to not doubt yourself how to get rid of self-doubt that's when all those videos will come in handy but if it's something that god called me to do if it's something that um perhaps the holy spirit revealed to me or something that i feel led to do then the person that i need to trust again is not me it's god so yeah that was just a way for me to flip the script essentially and um, use this self-doubt as a tool instead of it being something that cripples me or something that incapacitates me or something that keeps me in the same position and makes it you know impossible for me to do anything that I want to do anything that um, I'm led to do I can then use self-doubt as a tool and it becomes such a powerful tool then because it then helps me to always make sure my focus is on God and make sure that my trust is aligned to where it should be aligned to and that's in God. So I guess like right now I'm just at a place where I'm trying to again strip self-doubt of its power. That's what this is about. I'm not too bothered about getting rid of my doubts anymore. It's okay if I doubt myself. I mean, maybe one day I will get to a point where I trust myself. Um, maybe one day my therapist and I will figure out a way to actually get rid of all the fear and get rid of all the doubts. But right now, it's not really my priority anymore. I don't think it's as important as I made it out to be or as we all make it out to be, to be honest. As long as, um, yeah, I'm not doubting God, it doesn't really matter if I doubt myself does it I don't know this is just what I'm thinking so of course I like I'm happy to um, have discussion discussions about this and see what other people think as well but in my head it's just like wait so what if I doubt myself as long as I doubt God and if I doubt God I doubt his I doubt I'm sorry if I trust God hey I don't doubt God do <laughs> um, if I trust God if I trust his power I trust his you know his his what he can do and I genuinely believe that his power works inside of me, his power lives in me, his power is what is controlling my life, then essentially hmm, it will get to a point where in trusting God I will come to trust myself as well. I don't know if anything I just said made any sense but that's basically that's basically where I am right now. Thank you guys for watching this video to the end. Um, I am actually free for the rest of the day, so I think I'm just going to have a nice lying, you know, chill, relax, and maybe do some of the things that I have been procrastinating or the things that I have not been doing 
because of self-doubts <laughs> so yeah um make sure you like comment and subscribe please i will really appreciate it and i really hope you're having a good day or a good week um and a good you know end of the year see you guys next time bye